<coughs> Great start. Hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another bite sized book review. If you haven't guessed from the thumbnail, um, today I am going to be sharing with you my thoughts on Pizza Girl by Jean Kyung Fraser. Hopefully I've got that right. Quickly though, before I get into the review itself, I just wanted to say thank you to any new subscribers that are watching. Um, my subscriber count has jumped up a little bit over the past few weeks, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining us. And if you're watching this and you really enjoy book reviews, book related content, um, and you haven't subscribed, please press that little red button, click the bell, and you'll be notified when I next upload a video. Anyway, okay, back to today's video. And like I said, I wanted to share with you my thoughts on my latest read, which is Pizza Girl. If you saw my previous book review, you would have heard me say that Pizza Girl was one of the most anticipated books of 2020. From publications like Vogue, Marie Claire, Elle, uh, Buzzfeed, you know, there was a lot of, I was gonna say there's a lot of buzz about this book earlier in the year. It was also said that it would be for fans of Fleabag, which I loved Fleabag, so it, that was a tick for me. However, it also said that it was for fans of normal people. If you've seen my review of normal people, you'll know that that necessarily isn't a good thing for me. So, this could have gone either way. It's actually a lot shorter than um, a typical book I would pick up. I think it's just over 200 pages, so it's very short. I typically will pick up books that are around at least the sort of 350, 400 page mark. I like something that I can really get my teeth into. But the Kindle um, stops me from being sizest if that's the right word. Um, so I picked this up without really knowing that it was a short read. And let's just say, thank goodness it was a short read. Uh, I guess that kind of gives you an idea of what I thought of it. So Pizza Girl, who is unnamed right until the very last chapter, she is an 18 year old Korean American pizza girl. She's also pregnant, much to the delight of her boyfriend and her mum. She's not so keen on it. And Pizza Girl basically becomes obsessed by a customer called Jenny. I'm not going to give away any spoilers, I never do in my book reviews, but in this case it's because there isn't really much to give away. The story never really goes anywhere and this is where I guess you can see the similarity to Sally Rooney's novels. Just when you think, oh actually, you know, this could go somewhere, something quite exciting could happen here, nothing happens and it's a total non-starter. And I found that with both of Sally Rooney's novels. The main character in this book is very self-obsessed. The book kind of has this negative, flat feeling to it. And like I said, there's very little storyline. So for me, I would totally liken those things to Sally Rooney's novels, which weren't for me and in case you hadn't guessed I don't think Pizza Girl is for me either to be honest. Now the bonus was like I said up front this is actually quite a short book so I didn't waste a lot of time reading this. The main annoyance I have with this book is that so many of the questions that I was thinking as I was reading the book were left unanswered at the end. Now I know some people will say the author leaves it up to the reader to work out those things for themselves, but yes, I would agree with that in other cases, but in this book there isn't enough detail, there's not enough background in order to come up with those answers yourself. So that left me feeling a bit like, oh, come on. It wasn't tied up enough for me. I like a clear, ending. If you enjoyed Conversations with Friends, if you enjoyed Normal People by Sally Rooney, I would give this a go. Um, it's definitely along the same lines, but I think if you weren't really a fan of those two books, I would give Pizza Girl a miss. So I am going to score Pizza Girl 6 out of 10, which I think is the same score that I gave to normal people, and I would say they are very similar. Next up, I'm going to be reading Richard Osman's debut novel. Um, this is a pre-release, I believe it's out on the 3rd of September. I'm only a couple of chapters in, but I would say so far so good. Very very different to anything I've read before. If you're keen to see what I think of that book and you haven't already subscribed, please do. I would absolutely love for you to join us. If you enjoyed this video, please give it the thumbs up below and I hope to see you again back here next Sunday where I will have another video for you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye.